What if I told you a single skeleton could span thousands of years of history? Archaeologists are bewildered by a skeleton made from the bones of at least eight people, who died thousands of years apart, found in a cremation cemetery in Belgium. The skeleton includes bones dating to the Neolithic period, and a Roman-era skull. Back in the 1970s when archaeologists excavated a skeleton from an ancient graveyard in Belgium, they thought they had found a typical Roman burial. But during a recent re-examination of the bones researchers noticed peculiarities. For instance the skeleton's spine appeared made of adolescent and adult vertebrae. Researchers started thinking, okay something weird is going on. The team used radiocarbon dating to analyze the individual bones, and also sequenced ancient DNA found in them. It's found that the skeleton is made of bones, from at least eight unrelated men and women. The skeleton was found in the town, near Belgium's border with France. Placed in the fetal position, it was the only intact body in the graveyard containing 76 cremation burials. Because of a bone pin found near the head, researchers initially concluded the burial was Roman, dating to the 2nd or 3rd century CE, when the Roman Empire covered the Gallic lands of present-day France and Belgium. The skeleton's bones are much older, with the earliest contributor dying nearly 4,445 years ago. The skeleton contains bones from multiple generations in the late Neolithic period, who lived thousands of years before the Romans conquered Gaul. Still, the skeleton isn't completely out of place in the Roman cemetery. According to genetic analysis, its skull belongs to a Roman woman of the 3rd or 4th century CE, whose DNA matches similarly aged Roman remains in a nearby cemetery, probably siblings. How did this composite Neolithic skeleton end up with a Roman skull more than 2,000 years later? As the researchers write, Gallo-Roman groups may have disturbed the old burial while interring their own dead. If it was headless, the Romans might have completed it by adding a skull on the own. If not, maybe they replaced the skull, or they created the entire amalgamated skeleton themselves. Whether the assembly of the bones occurred in the Roman period, the presence of the individual was clearly intentional. The bones were selected, a fitting location chosen and the elements arranged carefully to mimic the correct anatomical order. Whoever composed the burial understood enough about the human skeletal structure to create a convincing puzzle. They knew what they were doing for sure. This fascinating and complex study may help illuminate Neolithic burial customs. The town was located near a river, an enduring mark of geographic and spiritual importance. Various groups over time may have wanted to control it. The composite skeleton provides an interesting possibility of land claiming through burial dating the Neolithic, with family groups within the clan asserting claim together, with the Romans furthering the land claim to assert their authority over Gaul. Share your thoughts and theories in the comments.